Okay, I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos, and when I watch YouTube videos, sometimes I like to comment them, uh, comment on them, and sometimes I think my comments are funny, and sometimes they get a lot of thumbs up. Sometimes they get people talking back to me. I think it's an interesting thing to do to talk about. Uh, it's a new thing I've started where I talk about the comments that I'm getting back on a comment that I've made if it's gotten a lot of things, and I think nobody else is doing it, so I think I'm being original when I do it. So I'm going to do it again. <laughs> If you don't like it, I'll go I'll leave. You know, but that's why I'm still going to do it until I get tired of it. Uh, and here I go. So anyway, I uh, was watching a, a, a video by, um, it's called Dark Souls 2, Moglin Ain't Laughing. And I kind of and I kinda froze it on a scene where he kind of, uh, where Epic Face Fist, he's a, another YouTuber, uh, has a lot of followers now, over 100,000, deservedly so. He's pretty talented. And uh, I, I hear I freeze framed on a semi nude bird uh, lady that he did, so you can look at that uh, for a second. So anyway, uh, I commented. Uh, basically, the point of my comment, uh, what I was trying to make fun of, is how a lot of people haven't played Dark Souls 2, the game. So a lot of the comments other people are making are like, "I don't get the jokes. What are these jokes? What, what? What? What's? What's the bird lady? What is she supposed to be? You know, like, what's the guy? What's this? You know." So it's like. They're going like, I don't get the jokes. They're complaining, right? So I decided to make a comment kind of just making fun of all the comments where like, I don't get the jokes, <laughs> right? And I wrote this really long comment for the hell of it. I was going to see if I actually wanted to fill the whole box until it ran out of room with just my comment. And so here's what I did. Here's the comment I wrote. Making fun of other people's comments and trying to fill the comment box with just a, like a never-ending long stupid comment. But here we go. I'm going to try to do it in one breath. I'm going to challenge myself because it's really long. You can see it goes like, there's probably like 20 or so lines. I... But here I go, I'm taking a deep breath now. <laughs> I laughed. Okay. Epic Face Fest. I've never played Dark Souls, and I don't understand this cartoon. So could someone explain the point, uh, the plot and point of the game, and then also explain the gameplay, hopefully in great detail, and possibly even provide me with a list of all the levels of the game so I know where everything occurs and in what order. Also, I will need someone to name and describe all the main characters, villains, and lesser characters, mostly so that I can understand whatever future cartoons... That's all I could do. <laughs> I ran out of breath. Yeah, basically, mostly so that I can understand whatever future cartoons Dark Souls, uh, about Dark Souls that Epic Face Fist decides to make. You know what I mean? Because I, this way I don't have to figure out the jokes. Explain it to me. I'm lazy. Uh, if someone doesn't mind, pictures would be helpful so that I can see what the characters look like. Then I will also need a description of what weapons and special magic or other powers everyone has. I'm making all these requests because I really don't want to go out and buy and then play because these games are expensive. The game all the way through. And I don't, I don't have a lot of time. I can't play the game all the way through. Uh, just so I can understand a point or get all the jokes of the Dark Souls cartoons that Epic Face Fest is making. Anyway, if you are still reading this comment, I was actually going to try, to try and fill the whole comment box with never-ending and stupid requests like the ones you've already read until I ran out of you. Uh, until I ran out of type space, but it's actually taking longer to do than I thought, and it would seem <laughs> like YouTube comments can be infinitely <laughs> can be infinitely long now. So I guess I'm just going to end it here. And it does. Like how I wrote like 20 lines, and it's, it's like no one. It doesn't say only this many characters left. So uh, uh, come on. Uh, so anyway, it it would seem like YouTube comments can be infinitely long now. So I guess I'm just going to end it here. But before I go, I do want to say that I did enjoy the animation and drawing style. And I have shown that by thumbs upping the video. And I did. I did thumbs up the video. I did enjoy the animation style and whatever, even though I didn't get all the jokes. Anyway, <laughs> I got a bunch of replies, right? And one of the replies uh, was from Epic Face Fist. And he does that. He does reply back to uh, other people's comments sometimes. So here's what he replied back to me. And actually... His reply is in context of another video I did, and I was trying to be funny, and Epic Face Fist uh, is, has an accent. I don't know if it's Scott. It's not, definitely not Scottish. I know that. Maybe it's English. Maybe it's from Ireland or something, but it's, he has an accent. So what I did was when he commented back to me, every one of his comments I read in like this really crappy Scottish accent, I was like, I'll do it here for a second. I was like, saw your video a few days ago, toenail fetus, right? So I was, it was like that, right? So I didn't, you know, I didn't think he would see it, and I don't think he would care. And as a matter of fact, if I ever do that again, uh, everybody, I'm making a request. Don't tell a person that I made fun of their voice, okay? <laughs> I don't want to mad at me. I don't want people mad. I want everybody to be happy. I want everybody to get along. So anyway, I did it, all right? So he's like, and I think he was mad. He's like, so you, I'm going to read it as if he's mad. So you, and with not, without an accent. So your video a few days ago, toenail fetus, because my name's Tony Fetus, 
Tony, Tony Famous, and he's like kind of making fun of my name, which is okay. That's fine. I don't care. Right? So he's like, so your video a few days ago, toenail fetus. I ain't Scottish, man. And then he's like, but I don't. Uh, well, oh no, actually, then he kind of chilled out. He's like. But I don't play. So he kind of, it's maybe it's like a bipolar comedy. It was like angry, but then he relaxed and he so like took a deep breath. It's like, so, but I don't blame you. <laughs> Saw your video a few days ago, but I don't blame you. Uh, not many people actually know what my accent is. Uh, let me, before I say that, I said, you know, the funny thing is he called me Tony Fetus, which I guess that's kind of a, uh, my username is Tony Famous. So Tony Famous, Tony Fetus, right? But actually, I've, I'm thinking about, and I would have went with something more like uh, maybe Tony Fungus. You know, because that's like two things that are related. Tony fungus, Tony fetus. Eh. So anyway, uh, you know what? If anybody likes one over the other, uh, and this way I know you've watched this deep into the video, in the comment box, if you like uh, Epic Face Fists, uh, Tony fetus, just write that in the comments. If you like uh, Tony fungus, to make fun of my name, write that in the comments below. And then I'll know at least you watched... Uh, six minutes into the video. Anyway, uh, this video is, well, damn, this video is, all right, yeah, let me move on. So, and also, he was like, he was disappointed in my Scottish accent, because <laughs> it was bad, I'll be honest. He said, also a bad Scottish accent. Uh, one out of ten, which is the lowest you can get out of a scale of one to ten, unless you can go zero, but zero really, it actually, it's not even on a scale. It's like one to ten, so I did get the lowest. Uh, I'll try harder next time. Anyway. Um, you know what? And in my defense, <laughs> when it comes to Scottish accent, I couldn't help it. You know, I don't know any Scottish people. I don't have a lot of Scottish references. Um, I, you know, the only Scottish people I could think of, like maybe like James Bond, um, the first one, Sean Connery. He was also, and actually, he didn't even play a Scottish dude in James Bond. He played an English dude. So maybe in Highlander. I think in Highlander he played a Scottish dude. So yeah, so the Highlander, Sean Connery, and then shit. Uh, who else would be? Uh... Then there's, uh, oh, well, wait a minute. There's, uh, <laughs> uh, there's Sean Connery. Oh, you know, it's Scotty <laughs> from Star Trek. Yeah, see, I'm, thinking, I'm having a hard time thinking of Scottish people. Scotty from Scar Star Trek. And you want to know something? Here's some, some, uh, information on that. Scotty from Star Trek wasn't actually Scottish, unless he was Scottish, Canadian, because he's actually Canadian, right? Uh, there you know, that's trivia. Scotty from Star Trek trivia that I actually know, and I, I might be wrong, though. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Okay, and then another, uh, Groundskeeper Willie from Shrek. So those are my three main... Oh, did I say from Shrek? Uh, Groundskeeper Willie from, um... Groundskeeper Willie from Simpsons and Shrek! <laughs> I, no, but then again, Shrek may not be Scottish. So Groundskeeper... So those are my three main, uh... <laughs> references to Scottish accents. Otherwise, I don't know any other Scottish people. So that's why my... That's why I'm gonna say my Scottish accent is so crappy. Moving on. Uh... Night Solitaire got in here, and he commented, Sounds like you want a short story summarizing the game. However, I'm too lazy. And I understand. It's a lot of work, so I'll just let you go on that. You're, you're, you know, you're a busy guy. you got things going. Then someone named Golden Nice Shinobi got in there, and he said, Tony Famous, S-M-H. Uh, shake my head. I know what that means. Ha-ha, <laughs> I know shit. S-M-H. Uh, <laughs> He's shaking his head. He... <laughs> You do know there are, like, two websites. How the fuck would I know that, uh, Golden Nice Shinobi? I, why would I know? I don't know that. Um, you do know there is, he should said are, like, two websites that has, that have, holy crap, this guy's got bad ground, that have all of that info, plus nobody wants to spend, like, three days just to tell you about all that stuff. And he gave me, like, that disappointed in me face, like, mm, <laughs> you know, like, you, you disappoint me, lad. Uh, and then someone named... I G N X I I that is a weird name. I G N unless it's a Roman numeral. I mean, I know the X I I I uh, is eight, and I, I I know the I is one, but I don't know what the G is. Maybe G's the I don't know. I, you know what? Either it's a Roman numeral or whatever. I don't care. I G N eight, <laughs> I G N eight in Roman numerals. Uh, left a comment. He said, "Night Solitaire," and "Golden Night Shinobi." Failed to finish reading this comment. And I think when uh, he meant, he didn't really mean his comment, this one. I think he meant my comment, where it just turned out I was kind of joking. I didn't really expect anybody to help me, right? So then, uh, <laughs> so I think you kind of got that wrong there. Right? But then GoldenEye Shinobi did comment back to IGNXII, IGN the 8th. 
<laughs> he said, I didn't fail to read your comment, which is the above comment, LOL. So he read that one at least. Because you know what? I don't blame you, Golden Ice Shinobi. This, his comment's nice, short to the point. My comment was dragged on. And anyway, so, but here we go. This is what I expected people to do. Jordan Holt got in there and he said, you can't actually be fucking serious. <laughs> he's like, you know, he's like, fuck you. I ain't hell. I ain't explaining it to you. You know, he's like, you can't actually be fucking serious. Dark Souls has a very complicated plot and complicated NPCs as well. Is that NPC? Non. Ah, I know shit. Non-playing characters. Man, I know a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm smart. Uh, Non-PCs as well. So, so anyway. Uh, moving on, Jordan Ho. I expected like 30 comments like you, like yours, where everybody was telling me like, go fuck off <laughs> and, and find out for myself. They ain't going to tell me. So anyway, someone named Lazarus Milan, and, oh, here's a bit of trivia. Lazarus, <laughs> let's say you don't know Bible shit. Lazarus is a guy in the Bible that Jesus raised from the dead. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe this guy's name is Lazarus Milan, or maybe he's talking about a Lazarus guy from Milan, because Milan is a place... Or maybe this is Lazarus. Maybe it's, it's like a Bible reference. Maybe the guy that Jesus raised from the dead, Lazarus, was from Milan. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't read the Bible in a long time. Anyway, here's what Lazarus Milan had to say to me. He said, Tony Famous, we can't just explain Dark Souls to you. You can't even get half of everything in a game in just one playthrough. Besides, there are a bunch of areas that a bunch of people just left unchecked, <laughs> unchecked and hidden NPC options. Just play the game for yourself. He's like, you know, just go play it, you know. Because no one is going to have the patience to explain all this stuff to you. And you're right, Lazarus. Nobody will and nobody did. So anyway, <laughs> I, you know, I was like, oh, somebody's coming back to me. So, and here's a comment I can work with. So I decided to be silly. I said, I'm sorry <laughs> to uh, Lazarus Milan. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm just pretty busy. I haven't even had time to clip my toenails lately, and they are getting pretty long. Maybe someone else will be willing to explain the whole game in great deal and all, <laughs> great detail and all the characters. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh man, I lost my place. Oh, and all the characters. I'm sorry, I'm just pretty busy. I haven't even had time to clip my toenails today, and they are getting pretty long. Maybe someone else will explain the whole game in great detail and all characters and sub-characters. It's just, pre pre it's just pretty frustrating to watch the these epic face animations and not get all the jokes, which are probably pretty hilarious. And I guess it is. You know, it is frustrating to to just watch it and not get the jokes, you know, and, and to be like, damn, I'm out of the loop. I'm not cool. I don't know shit, you know. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, Lazarus and Milan wanted to continue the conversation, and he, he commented back to me. He said, yeah, <laughs> I hate it when my toenails get too long, but I'm just being honest. It takes a long time just to beat one game, and there are like three games in the franchise with maybe just another, maybe another on the way. It took me around 80 hours of leveling up. Holy crap, 80 hours. That's like, that's like four days, <laughs> shit, of leveling up in just one game play. Actually, a good site for any questions about Dark Souls is Dark Souls Wiki, but good luck finding someone to help you out. You know what? I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do any research on this. I was just trying to be, like, joke around and be funny. So, you know, the, I'm not doing it. Anyway, I commented back to Lazarus Milan, and I was trying to, to just keep it going. So I was like, Lazarus Milan, <laughs> just the guy that Jesus raised <laughs> from the Bible. Uh, I might just break down and get a copy of the game, but I'm pretty broke. Oh, I see where I was going. Though. I said, hey, <laughs> if I go to the store and steal one of the Dark Souls games, which one would you recommend that I steal first? Because I, I'll steal them all. <laughs> but I don't want to steal them all at once. I don't want to get busted like that. You know, that would be like a felony <laughs> or something. So I'll steal one at a time, you know. Uh, it gets me out of the house. <laughs> you know, I go stealing. You know what I mean? Uh, so anyway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So he commented back like, uh, Tony Famous, I can recommend people on YouTube like Paradigm Shift, Silvermont, Terra Mantis, and Vatividia. You have a weird name, dude. Uh, they cover more of the complicated com topics in the game series. And you know what? I'm not going to go check out any of these guys or anything like this because I don't care. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. So I ignored that comment. Um, so then, but, uh, and actually I was busy. I just missed it. So he commented again. He said, not sure, not entirely sure which one. 
uh, I guess you should steal. <laughs> he left that out. He doesn't want to encourage me, right? But he said, but it can't be Dark Souls 2, so steal the others, right? Because that's a storyline sequel of Dark Souls. Demon Souls is the original and only slightly connected to Dark Souls, but Dark Souls has more stuff. So if you want more story, oh, read more. Uh, and action. I would recommend Dark Souls, but if you're one of those people who want to know the originals, take Demon Take. He just said it flat out and told me, like, to steal it. He's like, uh, steal, <laughs> steal, uh, steal, uh, Demon Souls. That's the one to steal first, all right? So, Dark, uh, Dark Souls or Demon Souls. Demon Souls, Dark Souls, OG. That's weird, isn't it? So, he says, your pick. <laughs> take whatever you want. And he said, however, you can wait for the latest installment, so far known as Project Beast. It can either be its own thing or a sequel, but it's too early to tell you. You know what? It sounds like it's going to be expensive. <laughs> I like to get my games cheap. I like them used, so I'm not going to go out and run out and buy. So, anyway. Uh, I commented back. He said, okay, then, I guess I should just steal them. <laughs> okay, then, I guess I should just steal them. <laughs> and if I'm going to steal them, then it would probably make sense to steal them in the order they came out. You know, steal the first one and then the second one somewhere else. So the chances of getting caught are less. You know, <laughs> and I was like, maybe I don't have to steal from them. You know, I can probably steal the first one since it's so old from a kid, I know, and they would never notice, and it would probably be much easier than trying to steal the games from a store that might actually have security carriers or guards. And that's true. I don't want to get arrested. You know, I don't want to get busted for stealing. And if I steal from a kid, maybe I can I can get by on it. So, anyway, uh, Lazarus Milan got back in there. He said, whatever you say, <laughs> whatever. He don't care anymore. But he says, the Demon Go game is only like 15 bucks. Now, at uh, uh, I don't know what that means. Now uh, there's an extension of Dark Souls that's only digital download about four great nights of Gwen. Good luck figuring that out. Thank you for wishing me good luck. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I commented back. I guess I was keeping it going. I'm like, I thought about buying it, but like I said, I'm pretty broke now. And what's worse, I figured since I was thinking about it, I finally cleared my toes. Why am I on toenails? You know why? <laughs> I think I know why. I think, I think I was on toenails because Epic Face Fist in the beginning of the comments called me toenail fetus so maybe i was i was just like let me relate toenails into the comments i i don't know why i did it but it's like, i finally clipped my toenails but then my only toenail clipper broke and now i got to buy another one and i was sad and by that i put like a saddy smiley upside down smiley so anyway lazarus milan commented back you know <laughs> you know i imagine it's true though i never really expected anybody to give me advice uh, or all these things around me because and, and I tell you I'm almost done and nobody did uh, because I tell you it's not like you, like a simple thing you ask somebody to do it's not like you ask somebody to like hold the door for you <laughs> or like or a simple question that can either I was like I want pictures I want diagrams I want everything right so yeah I was not shocked not to get the help that I requested uh, anyway Lazarus Lazarus Milan commented back on my uh, toenail clipper being broke he was like well <laughs> tony famous you better figure out something before they start scraping against the insides of your socks or begin to crack i have nail clippers but the blades have this little dent in them so whenever i clip my nails it leaves this little clinging piece uh you have to rip off that's called a hangnail dude that's not good you got to get rid of those uh and then that starts to scrape against everything you know you can get like hangnails you can get ingrown toenails that they're, they're like not good you know that'll mess your toes up um and they're painful <laughs> so anyway that's why i got i got better get that uh, nail clipper. uh he says you have to rip up and then it starts to scrape again he says i clip my nails it leaves this little clinging piece you have to rip off and then it starts to scrape against everything <laughs> If you can, I recommend mustaches. Mustache scissors? What? What the hell are mustaches? Uh, they work pretty well, but uh, <laughs> but at least, but let's be honest, not a lot of people use those anymore. I know nobody that has mustaches. I mean, where the hell you even get mustache? You got to you go to the mustache scissors mustache store, <laughs> mustache store, or a scissor store. Probably I would start with a scissor store, and maybe I just buy. I have no clue. Maybe Amazon has like a whole selection. Um, anyway. <laughs> I just, I kept it silly, and I got in there one more time I, uh, about the toenails, and I wrote, I used to bite them off, but I'm not that flexible anymore, because, <laughs> you know, you got to get your feet all up and, uh, you know, like over your head. If you can do that, then you can do that. I'm not that flexible anymore, and my feet taste salty, and salty foods make me nauseous, and I've thrown up on my feet before, and that sucks, because then I have to clean up everything, and I actually have thrown up uh, on my shoes before, <laughs> but that's from drinking too much. Uh, anyway. I would try mustache scissors, but they probably cost way more than toenail clips, and they probably do, you know? Uh, uh, 
uh, which I probably could just steal from the dollar store. From a dollar store. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'm, I'm right. <laughs> I could just steal my to the toenail clippers that I need from a dollar shop. Anyway, wow, this video is long. 1940. Oh, nobody's ever going to watch this to the end, so whatever. Um, from a dollar shop. Uh, then, <laughs> he's done. Uh, Lazarus Milan wanted nothing more to do or comment back, so whatever. I'm moving on. And someone named Totally Green got in there, and he said, In summary, you die a lot. The end. <laughs> so that's the game. But at least, I, I guess if you die, you can come back. So it can't be that bad. I don't mind games where you die if you can come back. So anyway, um, I think we are totally winding up. Someone named Clarence Fangleberry actually got in there. And you know what? He was he actually is helping me and everybody out. He says, Tony Famous, if you're looking to try out Dark Souls, it's a free download on Xbox Live this month. Did not know that. That's good information. So I got in there. I said... Uh, thanks, Xbox, uh, thanks, 360 or 1, for the 360 or 1. And he did actually come back, comment back for me, uh, and, and I guess I just didn't refresh the page. Uh, he commented back that it's on a 360, so if anybody wants to try it, there you go. There's your chance to try the game and, and understand all the jokes uh, for free <laughs> that Epic Face Fist is making about this game. That is it. Goodbye.